does Kelsey like read you a book? We've been reading. She doesn't read me a book. Oh, sorry. I don't know what you guys do. <laughs> Actually, we have this one couple friend that reads together. Like they read out loud to each other at night. <laughs> they popcorn read. <laughs> yeah, they do. I thought it was the weirdest shit when I heard it. And they're like, no, it's nice because we read the same book. And it's like quality time that we spend together. I'd, I'd be like so pissed. <laughs> like you're reading too slow. I know. I couldn't. I could be the reader, but I couldn't sit there and list like be yeah. read to. Yeah following along in your own book you guys are fucking weird that is weird <laughs> that's, that's actually about, about to piss me off, me off. <laughs> what the fuck that was that um your life fucking changes in thir- in your 30s i'm telling you it's like you, you like start to like weird shit like that popcorn reading with your partner yes because it's like you guys in bunk beds <laughs> like, what's... well no we're not siblings <laughs> siblings are dating <laughs> a bunk bed that would be sad <laughs> that would be really sad hey babe you comfy down now <laughs> Can you see my feet? Good night. <laughs> Can you see my feet? Hanging I'll off try not bed. to wet the bed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I need to go pee pee. <laughs> Babe, I need to get down. Yeah, so, but I read, do you read? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I, I want to talk about the Court of Thorns or whatever. Do you really? Now, because now I've, when we first talked about it, I don't didn't really, like, absorb what you're talking about. Sure. And then... We were visiting some friends on the weekend, and we were talking about books. Because, <laughs> again, that's what, Big your reader. 30s, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, you know? book club. So what are you guys reading each other <laughs> these days? <laughs> Literally, it's like, we went to visit this couple that has this one-year-old child, and oh, it's just God. the most, like, I don't know, it's just the most, like, 30 shit of all time. Yeah. You know, you're, like, talking to them, and they're, like, every third word, they're, like, hold on, go and grab the child as he's, like, trying to get you know, her injured or something like right. that. You're annoyed. You're like, could you like put her somewhere? No, we're like, love it. We love it. You know, oh, we're okay. like, we want to be around the baby. It's like, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Weirdo. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be around babies? Fucking weirdo. <laughs> Cause I want one. You know? <laughs> sure. Okay. Want to, want to have one. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. Just take theirs. We were thinking about it. <laughs> so we're like sitting there and we're like, what are you reading? And she was like, well, I'm reading this. Like, it's this, I don't want to, you know, it's like, it's like fantasy, but it's like porn. Yeah, it's yeah. like a, it's like a romance book at the same time. It was, was like Court of Thorns and Roses. Me. Yes, it was that. So she was telling me about it, and it sounded uh, intense, but it sounds pretty hot, honestly. Look, we could do some popcorn reading of A Court of Thorns and Roses. It's very like it gets. Well, that's the fun part, though, is like it's a beautiful world building book where it's kind of like Game of Thrones where you just get lost in it, you know, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's how it works in this world. Yeah, yeah. And it's like that, but the characters are very lovable and it's obviously kind of like, mm. so mm-hmm. it's, it's good. I really, and it's but a What does great that mean? Series. Like, did these fairies, they actually fuck? Hard. And how, <laughs> do they? Hard and long. And how, like, explicit does it get? Because, like, when everyone's, whenever someone's like, yeah, it's like a romance novel and then they do the face, yeah. You're like, so. How explicit is the sex? Because I know, like in 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 you know written porn, it's like you know she strokes his like veiny member. Does it is it like that? Like, yeah, really. Well, not like gross like that. It's obviously written very beautifully and romantically. Oh yeah, because like it's veiny fairy member, veiny glittery <laughs> cock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it's 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 a good mixture of like it's always romantic, but yeah, it gets pretty graphic. <laughs> All right, pulled up the full fucking transcript of it. You really did. It's um, it's tea because the first book you start out really loving a character, and by the end of the series, it's like I can't wait for him to die. Oh, really? Yeah, it's great. And do they die? I won't reveal. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to read it. Yeah, but apparently it's like she's like, yeah, the first one was good. It was like 500 pages. Yeah. And then the second one's like 650, and then the Massive. third one's like 790 or something. But it's like, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> she got excited. <laughs> Got a little snot bubble. I love it. I love, I love this book. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like I was trying to carry it around in my backpack, and it was like a fucking <laughs> dictionary with me. I think I would honestly, the girls would love if you would read Court of Thorns and Roses. Well, I read uh, Daisy Jones and the Six. Did you, read you really? Yeah, I read it too. I just finished it. It's fucking great. <laughs> it was really good. It's and great. the show's coming out. I know. Yep. That's the best thing about it. I'm obsessed with the fact that you read that. Well, Kelsey likes her books. Yeah. And uh, she read uh, Evelyn Hugo first. I'm reading that right now. Yeah, that that's a great one. Well, I'm, I've am i been told that Daisy Jones... I love that we're talking about this, by the way. Daisy Jones and the Six, I've been told, was better than the Evelyn Hugo one. And so I was like, okay, I'll start there. 
And then, like, I finished it right on time because they just had a premiere for it. Okay. And I was like, how do I sneak in? Yeah, how do I yeah. sneak in? Yeah. I went to see the first episode. But, uh, yeah, that author is really great. She's really good at um, kind of, like, creating, uh, lack for lack of a better term, a vibe. Sure. Like, But for whatever, like, niche she's talking about, like, whether it's Hollywood or, like, grunge rock yeah. or tennis or whatever, she knows how to, like, use the right terminology and, like, build this worlds where you really feel like you're there like you know the with daisy jones and the six are all like doing heroin and fucked up all the time yeah and the way he describes like the way daisy's acting you're like oh yeah she's a total addict and you, yeah you, but like it's like romantic in a way you know classic addict yeah his classic <laughs> addict, addict be like yeah <laughs> she's doing heroin again oh man okay me when i <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's very um I agree, because the whole vibe of Daisy Jones and the Six is it's a rock and roll documentary, you know, oral history, whatever, and uh, it makes you think of every rock and roll documentary you've ever watched. That's like, what I'm saying. I, it's I got the exact it. same energy yeah. as an, a real band yeah. and a real documentary about that band. I was getting pissed towards the end, because they were talking about like songs they were writing, this and that, and I was like, looking up on YouTube, I'm like, where, is there a, like a video with lyrics? <laughs> I'm like, but Well, they you, did. They wrote... They wrote songs. For the show. Yeah. I can't fucking wait. I listened to one of them. It's... Is it bad? Don't not, tell me not, it's bad. No, no, no. It's not bad. It's just... I guess I pictured it to be better. Like, I'm picturing, like, Fleetwood Mac level music, you know? Well, that's what it's based on. Did, yeah, did that's you, what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm... I, I picked... Is it really? Yeah. It's, oh, okay. It's based on... So there's And this, she's Stevie Nicks? Yeah. Oh. There's this famous um, performance of Silver Springs by Fleetwood Mac from 1994. And um, it's Stevie singing to Lindsay. And uh, it's the lyric that's like, you'll never get away from the sound of a woman that loves you. And that whole performance is so fucking iconic because they had all been fighting and fucking Fleetwood Mac's fucking crazy drama. And that moment, this is rumors that I've heard. The whole book is based on that because mm. it's like everyone. What an interesting concept, like one of the most famous bands in the world. And everyone's fucking and fighting obsessed. Yeah, of course. Write a book. Yeah. 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 It's the best. Have you ever fucked anybody in your band or on tour? Or Just Ryan. Oh. Yep. Wow, that's a complicated history. Makes things very awkward. <laughs> I bet. Look, I especially because we're like... both married <laughs> <laughs> to different people. Yeah. Okay. Very awkward. I felt that energy when I walked in the yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this, you can cut this sexual tension with a knife. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Just kiss Owen. <laughs> <laughs> you would like that. My flash on kissing. my phone's going off. I'm like, just kiss Owen. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited. So I like to read like boring like <laughs> finance or tech books half the time that are nonfiction. That's my favorite. Yeah. But then I intersperse it with like a really good just like fiction read that you just don't want to put down. Sure. And uh, those are the ones. So Kelsey last year read Evelyn Hugo and then she read Daisy Jones last December. And she's like, you got to read it. And I was like, that book's for girls, babe. <laughs> I'm not reading that. Okay. I got I this cool a, book a about penis. a hedge fund to read. All right. <laughs> and then literally a year later. I'm like, let's see what fucking Daisy Jones and the Six yeah. is all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. I loved it. Uh, that is so good to hear. Yeah. Embrace, men embrace reading girl books. But why is it a girl book? I, don't I know. Understand. Like Fleetwood Mac is only for girls? Well, it's not at all. The opposite, I would argue. So yeah, that's what I was going to say is I was expecting music like that because their music fucking like touches you. Yeah. You know? And so I'm picturing that type of music and especially with the... Way they described that album and how people responded to it, yep, and the fact yep. that they went to playing stadiums, like yep, yep. I'm like, oh, these songs must be unbelievable. And then to like bring them to life and not do it justice really was kind of like, I mean, it's fine, but it's not like anything special. Sure. Well, they had someone do the the music for it. It was like a producer. Yeah, here it is, Daisy Jones and the Six. Regret me. This oh my god, it's so it's real. They they made it. Yeah. It's for the show. I know what if I'm I hold it away like home. this, it's not going to get... We'll play it in the bonus. Yeah, but if I hold it away like this, you won't hear it through the mic. It looks so fucking good. I'm trying to think who who did the album. <clears throat> it's not important, Here it actually. is, Blake Mills. How do you... So you wait, let, okay, POV, you're sitting down reading a fucking tech book. Yeah. Are you taking notes? No. Are you like... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> He's like camped in a Starbucks, like <laughs> just doing my research. Yeah. <laughs> Little light reading. <laughs> no, it's just entertaining as fuck. This is the one that I'm reading right now, but I've described this before, so I'm not gonna keep going. But like, 
like I would I used to be a software engineer, so this shit just like interests me. I love this world. And, I had a- and finance especially for some reason. I don't know why. I never studied it. I never like but for the the, the world of like trading and hedge funds and and financial crimes especially. White oh, collar crime is that's crazy. Shit. Seriously. Yeah. I love it. 